okay so we are going to discuss today the nonlinear model we already have seen how the nonlinear model is going to develop so uh, in one of the group most of the students have doubt in understanding the linearization i once again i want to clarify this concept okay so i'm just starting with this you know how the we uh, the tank the modeling of the tank for single tank system is going to do right suppose that this is the you know this is the volumetric flow rate q2 in, it is the in the meter cube per second it is also in the meter cube per second this is the valve this is the linear valve this may be the linear or the non linear but here we have considered for this is a linear valve right linear means the relationship between the q0 and the height whatever is going to change of this tank is linear that is the q0 is equal to h by r okay so this is the linear relationship between the q0 and the h right q0 and the h okay so as you know that the q0 uh, the r will increase obviously the q0 will be uh, decrease right so this is the equation for the you know uh, for the linear valve and we already have seen the mass balance equation that is the meter cube per second this is the meter cube per second right and density is equals to mass upon volume mass upon volume so it becomes kg per second right ultimately this is a kg per second so mass is entering in the tank mass is leaving from the tank and mass is going to accumulate in the tank right and the accumulation is done accumulation is always the dynamic system it is a dynamic right d by dt this is the st st is going to change simultaneously right st is going to change continuously right so it is a changing the, with respect to the time but since it is it should be the mass because mass minus mass plus is equal to some mass okay and therefore we are writing density is equal to nothing but the kg per meter cube mass upon volume area is the meter square and h is in the meter this and d by dt is the one upon second so it will again give give the kg per second okay so kg per second is equal to kg per second and therefore it is a mass balance right and that i'm saying mass balance the density since the density is the constant from input to the output okay because the same liquor is incoming same liquor is there is no you know variation that this density then therefore we can cancel the density term from this equation because the density is a constant right area is also the constant of this tank area is also constant of this tank therefore we have written qt minus q0 t is equals to a dh by dt okay and we know that this is a linear valve and therefore we have written q0 is equals to h by r just put this value q0 is equals to h by r here and the equation becomes q minus h by r is equals to a dh by dt q minus h by r a dh by dt right now <clears throat> come to the next part that is the steady state so sometimes the question may be asked the what is the what is the model of the you know the what is the characteristic model of the tank system either it is the steady state or the dynamic state so students are confused right they ask this is the steady state or that is the dynamic state it it may be the both it may be the both since it is it, since agar aap isko aap yahan par accumulation term if you are it is the accumulation term the varying with the time then it is a dynamic system right now it let's say we consider this is the, this is coming from the long time this is the infinite time right and from the infinite time the height of this tank will become constant yes or no the height of the tank will be constant at infinite time after a long time it will be constant because you know whenever you just let us consider the let's say consider uh, there is a flow is coming inside the tank right in a bucket and you you just uh, uh, took some uh, some hole in in this bucket okay and some output or some flow is coming from this hole right and after you know uh, there is a time where the height is going to change but after a certain interval of time it will settle it will become a constant right if this is a constant then it becomes constant right and after a certain time it will also become constant right so since h becomes constant at the steady state value therefore you can say that the the the, the, the derivative of the constant term the derivative of the constant term becomes zero and therefore we can write dh by dt is equals to zero and 
this term now become q minus h by r equals to 0 and this is the steady state equation because q takes the qs, h takes the ss because it is the at the steady state value. So in Marabat, you took tank may input that becomes constant that's the qs, the height becomes constant that's hs. Okay, so at the steady state value the equation becomes qs minus hs by r d by dt of hs that is equal to 0. Am I right? Any problem in this equation? Any problem in this equation? No. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So just take equation number 3 say uh, equation number 4 ko minus karne teen se, right? Then subtract the equation number 4 from the equation number 3. Then let us see Q minus QS. Q minus QS. H minus HS by R. Okay. H minus HS by R equal to equal to A into A into D by DT of H minus HS. Remember H minus HS. So therefore we have written like this. Okay. Since it is 0, no problem. But H, H minus, it should be there. Right. So now. The, define the deviation variable Q minus QS. Q minus QS is equal to capital Q. H minus HS is a capital H. Right. So, equation becomes QS is equal to 1 by R. HS by HS. When you solve it, you can take the common HS. Right. So, 1 by R plus AS is equal to uh, into AHS. This is the QS. Right. So, HS is the output. That, that height. And QT is the input. So, output upon input in the Laplace transform. We can take that is the you know QS so you can get it. Uh, 1 upon 1 upon R plus AS when you solve this equation that AS na, then R goes to the upper and uh, upper side right and uh, it becomes 1 plus ARS right and what is AR? AR is we have taken the tau so the final term becomes H upon QS H equals to R upon tau S plus 1. And where tau is equals to a r, right? What is tau? Tau is the time constant. Time constant of the of the tank. So anyone can tell me what is the time constant? What is the definition of the time constant? Sir, it is the reciprocal of negative V L root. No, no. It is the, what is the time constant? Time constant means sixty three percent, है ना? What, what, whatever the time will take to reach the 63 percent to, to of the total response. Of the yes, total response, sir. Right? sir. So we will discuss later. We will discuss later. It will become. Right? So you understand. Try to understand. It is the whatever the what we have modeled. What we have modeled of the tank. That equation is of the first order, right? That equation is the first order. Since it means the single tank means single tank, single uh, first order, right? Now come to the next part that is a second order system, uh, sorry, uh, non-linear uh, non term will, will come in the picture in, in when it's, let, let us consider we have this wall as a non-linear, right, characteristic. So non-linear characteristic means let us consider the CH Q0 is passing through the wall, the height is going to change like this, root H, right. <coughs> so Q minus CH power 1 by 2 the equation is the same, same q minus ch power 1 by 2 is equals to adh by dt so this is the equation right Achha. Ab this is since this is a non-linear so now what we have to do the transfer function only a will find of the linear model of the linear model right <coughs> so just time i will start fresh uh, 